We naturally, biologically experience pleasure when doing things that either promote our own health or health of our children or the development of our families and communities. That's what makes us feel good. We are inherently bound to feel good when we are doing things that are good for ourselves, good for our communities, and good for our families. And that's how the race survives. So if you understand that naturally occurring pleasures are there simply in essence as a way of helping us improve survival and the survival rates of our children, now take a look at the addictions and the potential addictions that come out, can come out of uh, naturally occurring behaviors and look at what we've got. We've got gaming, gambling, workaholism, binge eating, sex, exercise, spending, and high-risk behaviors. These are what we call the behavioral addictions or the process addictions. And by the way, the reason we call them a process addiction is because it isn't the gambling that's the point of the experience. It isn't the sex that is the point of the experience. For someone who has a, a process addiction, it's the whole process they're addicted to. Uh, like a gambler is addicted to looking for the time off, getting the money out of the bank, lying to their spouse about where they're going, picking the right casino, getting into all of that time, which we'll talk about in other tapes, other videos, all of that time is about arousal, about excitement, about fantasy. And the, the fantasy about these experiences drives dopaminergic um, release. In other words, when I fantasize about these things, I get a little bit excited, I get a little bit aroused, I get a little bit distracted. And if your goal is that distraction, that arousal, that sort of disappearing into something, then why not use your naturally occurring dopamine system to, in a sense, abuse pleasures that for other people have other purposes than they do for you.